Start first by uploading your design. If you click here, these are the file types that SIWIF can support, especially IPC2581 or ODB++. Go to simulation and select TDR wizard. Select which line you want to study to do the TDR. Remember, you still have differential extended and extended differential. You have to select them. Go next in each side for each line. You have to specify where to put the TDR probe here where you select the TDR probe and where you select the termination. Go next here. You specify the signal that you are using to do the TDR for each probe. So you specify the rising time and you specify also the pulse width. Usually the pulse width should be way longer than the length of the structure. And this is the impedance of the port. 35 picosecond for this probe, for example, for the rising time is selected in such a way I am able to see the different, different transitions inside the model. At the bottom is the termination, is the other side, which is the termination. You go next and here you specify where you want to see the results you can see them in electronic desktop and this section is the most important section so si wave is an s parameter solver like any other em solver then after solving the s parameter it does the fft and switch to time domain so you need to specify the bandwidth of the solver the s parameter solver. in this case notice here you have to start from zero the higher frequency here is related to the rising time in our case, we do not just select uh, the similar rising time as the TDR itself. We select something smaller and you press OK and you solve. Now that we have a solution, now we can see the answer. So you can plot here the results. 